Sometimes one of the, the most frustrating things about nonlinear editors is when you have disconnected media in your timeline or your browser, and this tutorial is to help you guys deal with that. So most often files become disconnected when they are either moved to a different folder on a hard drive, just during organization, or renamed. And when it's disconnected, it just means that Final Cut can't read it, and it doesn't know quite where to look for the path. It's not smart enough, I guess. So let me just uh, show you an example. Uh, the file that I have here that it's reading right now, I'm just going to go ahead and just rename it to something. HD0541 isn't that good of a indication of what this is about for me. So I'm just going to say colored light rays. That's what I'm going to call it. I'll hit OK. And when I go back to Final Cut, suddenly that media is offline. Um, you see this red strike through it and a giant red error window there. So what do you do? Well, the best way to do it is to select the clip. Just go up to your file menu and hit reconnect media. You can also select several clips in here and do this as well. Sometimes when you open a file that you haven't opened in a while, uh, you'll get a prompt immediately that tells you all of these files are disconnected and that you need to reconnect them all. So you may have a long list in here. Luckily I only have just one to work with for now. So what you want to do is just search in your single location in your FireWire drive so it's a little bit quicker. And I usually just start out by hitting search. Okay, so this time the search didn't work because it's still looking for HD0541. So I actually have to locate it myself manually. I'll hit the locate button and I know that it's colored light rays, but you see it's kind of grayed out. I can't actually select it right now. So I have to uncheck matched name and real only. And suddenly I can select it. I'll hit choose. And you'll notice that it's moved down into this lower window, files located. So I'll just hit connect one more time. And we're back in business. There's no more strike through this. I can double click it, open it up in my viewer and I can also scrub it in my timeline. So hopefully this tutorial has helped in case you ever come across disconnected files in your future projects.